Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, Total Gary coming at you with another video. Um, sorry I haven't done any videos recently. I've been very, pretty much very extremely busy with work. But um, I realized that I hadn't done any videos on the new things I've gotten recently. Um, I got a new car uh, about, I don't know, maybe earlier, mid this year. And I also got a motorcycle too. Um, I actually had a ZX-10R um, that got stolen last year. Um, so I didn't get a new one until I was, you know, cool, it got warm again. Um, and I decided to get a new bike. So, um, but uh, my car, well, my bike, uh, you know, just a little snippet of it. I'm gonna do, I'm, video is gonna be about the bike. My car, uh, yep, 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 yep. I'm gonna do the Audi, um, that is Audi A5, um, or Audi, whatever, whoever, you can call it whatever. Um, I'm gonna do a video on that separately um, at another time. Um, I'm gonna focus on my bike because I got that I actually got the car first, but well, I'm gonna do the bike because that's my my crown jewel right now. Um, both of them are, but I love my bike, and it's winter time and it's up, so I figured uh, why not showcase the bike um, uh, right now. So, um, so I'm gonna try to start doing these little vlogs every now and then. Um, let me know what you guys want to talk about. Um, most of them, most of the time, they're just gonna be you know me talking about life, things that's going on in my life. Uh, and I want to get to know you guys, so um, you know, let me know in the comment section or section uh, uh, what you guys what's happening with you guys, um, and maybe I'll discuss it, you know. Or if you guys have any topic you want to discuss, um, give you guys my opinion. Leave that in the comment section. Uh, section. Why do I keep doing it anyway? Um, and I will let you guys know my opinion um, if you guys want that. But uh, anyway, um, before I get on with more of the vlog stuff, I'm gonna stop and let you guys talk we'll talk a little bit about the bike. So let's get it started. So guys, this is my new bike. Um, I've had it for maybe about four months or so. Um, I wanted to do a video on it a long time ago and I just never got the chance to. Um, this is my BMW S1000 RR. Um, this is the 2016 model. Um, it's really, I mean, hey, this bike, I thought my Kawasaki was sexy, this bike, is pretty sexy i'm not even gonna lie um i put it on the stands not too long ago gave it a car wash well not a car but gave it a wash um so it's pretty clean um i gotta clean the chain which i'm gonna probably do that tonight sometime uh i should have did it when i washed the car but i'd rather I, I didn't put it on the stands when i washed it last time and i'd rather just do it with the stands um while it's up because it's a lot easier um and hopefully it only takes like 10 minutes or so just to make sure everything is clean uh, but this is my bike. Uh, you can kind of see I got I got not even 2,000 miles on it. So it's very new. This bike is extremely new. Um, it's very, I mean, it's great. Like, I really, I mean, just to give you guys my take on this bike, um, this is not going to be no crazy review or anything like that, but it's just to give you guys my opinion on it um, since I've had it. And I've had it. I've had it for, you know, like I said, about four months or so. So I can give you guys kind of a valid opinion on it. I had my Kawasaki for almost a year. So uh, um, so I'm gonna start off by saying the things I like. Um, and it's really not too many things I don't like, I mean, about the bike. It's, it's hard for me even to think right now what I don't like about the bike. But uh, um, things I do like about the bike, uh, it got cruise control. Now this is something that I was, when I got my Kawasaki stolen, I was thinking about getting another Kawasaki, getting a 2016 ZX1000. Um, and the guy was like, you don't need cruise control. Why? No no real bike, biker rock needs cruise control. But honestly, you know what? It's a convenience thing. And, you know, I applaud BMW for having it. And I think, uh, you know, you can put it on any bike, to be honest. Um, you can get it on any bike. But it's one of them features that you don't realize how convenient it is until you actually have it at your disposal. And um, like, I can give you guys an example. I took a trip, you know, it wasn't a huge trip cause you can see it on, it doesn't even have 2000 miles on it. But I took it after I got my, uh, after the break in process, I took it on like a, maybe a hundred uh, mile trip or so. Um, it was mainly highway and I chose to use cruise control for some of it just to test it out. And it's really nice. Like the cruise control, you know, you activate it pretty easily. You just hit a button. Um, let me show you guys. Uh, this switch right here, sorry, it's a little dark in here, 
um, flip that to the one position and hit that to set the cruise control and then you can turn it off to deactivate it or hit the brake um, and it, it goes like it I mean you can I sometimes I roll with no hands I mean no hands on the you know grips whatever and just ride and um, just steer with my body and it's very comfortable um, so cruise control that's one thing I really like um, and you know guys give it a chance like I really I, they wouldn't even let me test test this bike so I couldn't even test it before I bought it but um, it's really awesome like the cruise control I didn't think it'd be that cool but it's actually pretty cool like it's convenience um, the thing I just used um, so I'm gonna talk about that is the heated grips now BMW is like I, the only bike maybe Ducati I don't know some of the touring bikes this is the only sports bike I know that got heated grips on it um, so these you can, all you got to do is hit this button right here um, and it's got different modes kind of like the heated, heated seats and cars um, uh, hit that and it, it goes like from the height like level three down to one or whatever um, three being the highest level of heat uh, coming off the grips and I rode it yesterday um, or not yesterday uh, last Saturday before I put it on the stands that's kind of my final kind of ride because um, I hadn't rode in like I was out of town I hadn't rode in a couple weeks and I wanted to kind of make sure it was still cool and everything before I set it up uh, so I activated the heat grips and it was cold it was like 35 degrees 30 about 30 35 degrees so I was I mean I had a jacket and gloves and stuff on but I was cold like my arms my hands were a little cold and chilly uh, I activated that and it really works like it, it heats I mean the only thing I can say it really heats like it, it does what it's told to do my hands always my thumbs are always hanging off the grip like this and so my thumb is a little bit cold still like the, my four fingers were good like they were like just planted on the grip so they were warm um, so the heated grips are really pretty cool especially if you're someone that's gonna ride in the winter I'm not really too much, uh, I used to be on my Jixxer 600, I used to be a winter rider, because when I was in school, like school was like five miles away, so I was like, well, why not, I just hop on the bike. If it didn't snow, I, I didn't care. Um, but now, since I'm in the city, I don't really ride in the winter time. Um, so it's gonna probably be up on these stands until it starts getting warm again uh, in a few months. Uh, what else? Um, the speed, I guess, uh, this bike, the ZX1000, wasn't a slouch at all by any means that was a fast bike and that was my first 1000 cc bike this bike is you can you can actually i understand why it's like the top one of the top bikes and you know in motocross because it's like it's it's a bike that's it accelerates and like like i've never experienced like my zx accelerated but this one like it wants you to go fast like it's not a bike that like you you kind of can handle you know how fast it's gonna go this one i i've been riding this and i still don't think i pushed it to the limit um at all and it's a, actually it's another mode that you have to pay extra for um and i, I i'm sorry i can't remember what it is i'm, I'm sure if anyone else have any uh, s1000 let me know but it's like a mode that they have to actually go into the some the battery and the settings and stuff and activate for extra cost and that's supposed to make it more um, ready for the track and make it more faster um, so I, I typically ride on sport um, I started on I think rain or something just to, so I can get used to it and then I moved up to I think it was sport and then they got race mode which is more faster than sport so um, and it's it's really fast like it 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 it, 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 it gets up there um, I can't say that more than I mean it, it it's a fast bike. It's one. It's probably it's the fast bike I've ever had. Honestly, it's it's a very uh, good bike as far as speed wise. Um, definitely a track bike. If you guys want to take it to the track, let me turn this off for a minute. Um, <clears throat> what else? Uh, the sound, the pipe. Um, this is the default pipe that it comes with. It actually sounds pretty good. And um, towards the end of the video, I'll start it. Let you guys hear it because um, I'm gonna let it warm up a little bit because it's, it's been really cold outside. So I'll start it. Um, but the pipe, I mean, as the stock exhaust, it sounds really well. Like it's not like my ZX 1000 where I was like, man, I can't wait to get a new exhaust or M4 or something. Like this one actually sounds pretty good, which is why I haven't bought it, um, a new one yet because it sounded that good. And I said, I'll wait until next season to get a new pipe. Um, so that is, that's one thing I actually like about it. Uh, I mean the design, I guess I can say the design is very nice. Like people... When you pull up on an S1000, people wave it, like, wave. Like, they know, it's no, like, BMW doesn't make anything less than a 1000cc. A I mean, so you know 
if you pull up on a BMW that's a sports bike, crotch rocket, like they know you got the this is that one thousand. Even if they never even heard of this bike, they know it's uh this is that bike to have. Like other than Ducati and some other bikes, this bike is that good. Um, so I get a lot of waves and odds more than I did on my Kawasaki riding this bike around town. Um, what else? Uh, I mean, design wise, everything's nice. Um, it has a lot of settings. Um, I'm not going to go into it too much. It's not, it's not a review. Um, but it, it's a lot of settings. You can convic configure this for a, a lot of stuff. Um, different modes uh, for, like I said, different modes for if you're not having rolled a 1000, you can kind of start off in a slower mode that doesn't give you the full percent or the full horsepower and everything. So you can kind of work your way up. Um, so overall, it's a good bike. I mean, I, I don't have too many negatives. So those are the positives. I, it rides well. Um, it's a good bike. I, it's very fast, very sexy bike. Um, I'm, I don't have any regrets for buying it. Um, yes, the insurance is a little, more, a little bit higher than my Kawasaki, but that was a given because of the BMW. Uh, but yes, yeah, nice bike. And sorry if the quality is not that good. I'm on my phone. Um, I plan on getting a GoPro when, you know, pretty soon. And I start next season, I start making some bike videos. Uh, while I'm riding, so I can kind of see it. Um, so sorry about the quality. Um, I guess I get to the things I don't like, and it's not really, it's only, I only can think of a couple. Um, first thing, which it's not really, it's kind of a preference thing, um, is that when you first get this bike brand new, I bought this brand new, um, I didn't get it used. You, They put a limiter on how fast you can go. So it only goes up to, I believe it was 8,000 RPM um which when I, I tried to push it to the limit on a straightaway and on the highway and i was it maxed out at about 120 or so with the limiter on um it was a little annoying but i understood I, it was in the break-in process so you didn't, you're not trying to push it that hard but of course when you get a new bike like this you want to see how fast it goes um so that kind of restricted me a lot in the beginning um so i was riding with the limiter on but breaking it in and people Look at me, you know, notice that S1000 like want to race on the highway and blow me out because they don't realize I it's a limiter on it and it's brand new and in the break-in process. So that sucked for a good month or so. I was kind of upset. I was like, damn it, I can't beat these people. Um, so that, I mean, and that's a preference. You, you want the bike to run well in a lifetime that you have it. So I, I understand why they do that, but it's the only manufacturer I know that does that. So it was a little annoying. Kawasaki, I didn't have that problem. Jixer didn't and my SV uh, 650 uh, my first bike I, I mean which that one didn't go that fast anyway but uh, and that was used when I bought that um, but I didn't have that problem um, so that's one issue I had which is it's not really an issue with the bike itself it's more of a preference thing uh, with BMW overall uh, I think the only other thing is that the bike when you're riding it vibrates a little bit now i my old bike i don't remember it doing that my kawasaki i don't think it did that but the handlebars on this bike when i'm riding at high speeds it vibrates a little bit and it has a steering damper and things on it but it's like a vibration throughout the the handlebars and it, it and when you ride for a long you know a long time on long trips it kind of makes your arms tired and this it's a little annoying um, I've gotten used to it, um, definitely, especially the fact that you have cruise control, you can kind of take your arms off of the handlebar or take so much pressure off of them. Um, but that is, you know, it's an annoyance. Um, and I've, and I've told the people at BMW and they like, yeah, we know it's a, you know, it's an issue. Um, it wasn't, not an issue, but yeah, they know it vibrates, um, a little bit and you know, it, it, it is annoying to some people. I've seen people on forums saying yeah it vibrates and before i got this bike i even saw someone on youtube that said uh it was vibrating while they rode it um so i mean it's it's just something and that's you know it's something you gotta you can't i can't really explain until you test ride it and and you have to have you know ridden something else before like something that you know how it felt and everything and then you ride this and even though it feels good you can you can feel that vibration uh so those are the only things i have an issue with uh other than that, the bike is fantastic. Great looking bike. I love this new 2016 color. Um, I, I love it. It's a great bike. Uh, 